welcome to McFarland. This is a farming town. These kids working here are invisible. They come from the fields and they go back to the fields. Mr. White, if we're going to reach him, now's the time. Have a good day. I'm Coach White, the new PE teacher. Diaz. 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 Popular name where you guys come from? White. Is that a popular name where you come from? <laughs> All right, run a lap. Go. They're fast. They are. Cross country running. California is holding their first state championship this year. You do understand we don't have a cross country team? Yep. You've coached cross country before? No. You competed in high school, maybe? No. Well, you sound perfect. Who is Jim White? Jim White was born on May 14, 1941, in Sweetwater, Texas. The Whites met in 1959 in a short-lived Magic Valley Christian College, a liberal arts school associated with Churches of Christ that was located in a small mountain range of so southeastern Idaho. The college sweethearts married in 1961. A reporter asked Mr. White if he was a runner before he started coaching cross country. His answer, my running experience was non-existent. I was a baseball player. Mr. White played baseball and basketball growing up. He attended Pepperdine University as a PE major. I actually wanted to coach baseball, but I ended up teaching fifth grade for nine years and I coached everything. Eventually, I ended up working with an age group track. When we unified as a school district, that also gave me the chance to coach running at, a, at the high school. I coached at the high school for over 20 years. White says his cross-country co coaching model was Joe Newton, who coached for 50 years winning 28 Illinois state titles and helping manage marathon runners in the 1988 Olympics. I picked up little things from him, like how he treats the kids. Promote, he promotes good attitude. He would pick them up and put them in limousines. I've done that. He put them in tuxedos for different awards, and I would do that for awards banquets. I never set out to leave a legacy. I just always wanted to do the best that I could do and let these guys understand that they need to try and always do the best that they can do. I guess what I was trying to do was to teach them the lesson that hard work will take them a long way and try to get them to see that there's a bigger picture out there. I always cared about the kids, so I wouldn't ask them to do anything that I wouldn't do, except run. I told them I will not run, but if I call practice, I will be there. A Disney movie was made about the 1987 state champion team. From 1980 to 2003, his team won nine state championships in divisions three and five, his teams also made many lesser titles. Tony Dungy vs. Jim White Many of the kids on Jim Wright's cross-country team were from po poor farm-working families, and the school could not afford to buy the kids sweats. Jim White paid for some of their shoes out of his own pocket. This man had his own family earning a teacher's salary. When he wasn't paying out of his own pocket, he was holding fundraisers with the help from some of the cross-country parents. Some of the kids would sit on the bus and say, I'm not hungry. Well, I know they were hungry, but they didn't have any money. So I said, here, take this and buy your lunch. Every hour my boys train with you is an hour they don't work with me. That's food off our table. The DS father. If runners couldn't make it to practice, White would have a second practice for the boys who couldn't attend the first. White helped in the fields on occasion. Even after he retired, Coach White continued to help out with the McFarland cross-country team. Having room in his home, Tony Dungy adopted children. Dungy started the All Pro Dad program, bringing many families closer. It's about the journey, mine and yours, and the lives we touch, the legacies we can leave, 
in the world we can change for the better, Tony Dungy. Although Tony Dungy was a famous coach, he was down to earth. He cares about the little people too. Jim White was a big factor in many of the McFarland kids' lives. He took a town that only ever lost and made it win. Jim White made a big difference in this community and touched the hearts of many people who watched the McFarlane USA movie.